Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a Java for Beginners uh, lesson number one. We're going to be doing a simple hello world. We're going to be talking a little bit about variables and a little bit about taking in user data. Now, for those of you coming from my uh, C++ course, you're familiar with int main. You know that main is where pretty much everything in our program is happening or you know we're calling other things from you know outside to execute inside of int main that's no different in java java has a section known as main and that's where everything in our program is going to be happening is inside of this main sort of section so the way that before i begin i just want to say that class is just meaning that that's the file that all this is taking place inside of. Now, the way that we say that it's the main part of the file is very different in Java. And in my mind, it's extremely complicated and it's hard for beginners to understand or know what they're doing. And it is public static void main string with a capital S args and then a little uh, set of brackets there yeah did you catch that no I didn't my first time either it's public static void main string args that's honestly as easy as it gets I'm really sorry if that's confusing but explaining to you what all of that meant would really only make it more confusing to you at this stage in the game um, what I will say about it is that you don't need to know what this means for quite a while. You just need to know that it goes there. Now, I want to talk a little bit about uh, these squiggly brackets. These squiggly brackets mean that whatever happens in between these is being handled by whatever is outside of them. So in this case, we can see that uh, main, we'll just call this main from now on because that's its name. So whatever happens you know, before the uh, the squiggly brackets and, uh, you know, is declared as main. Whatever happens in between these brackets happens inside of main. And this is what's known as scoping. Um, programs are broken up based on these brackets. You know, you can have multiple things happening in a single program, as I'm sure you have well figured. This is just our way of keeping things local. Um, moving on and actually getting into some real programming here, the way that we're going to do a simple hello world is, well, simple. We're going to type system.out.print, and then we're going to uh, open a set of parentheses, put in a, a set of quotation marks, and we're just going to type hello world. You can ignore the stuff that it's recommending me. Um, sometimes NetBeans tries to be helpful and it's not. Um, it's just the nature of things. So if we actually give that a run, which is the uh... oh you there we go. All right now now if we give that a run you'll see that it prints out hello world. Um, you're going to need to build first on these. Um, there's a button that says clean and build next to run. Um, you can see that it printed out hello world. Now, if instead of print, I say print lin with an LN there, that is an L, it might look like an I, uh, you'll see that hello world is now on its own line because print lin means print line. Um, I tend to use println over print um, because pretty much every time you print out a line, you're going to want a new line after it. So, um, with that said, I want to talk a little bit. How am I doing for time? Oh, five minutes. Beautiful. I want to talk a little bit about how we're going to ask for the user to input something. Um, and we're just going to start by asking them to enter a number. Now, it's very simple. 
inside of C++. But it's a little bit trickier inside of Java. And again, I'm not going to go too deep into why we're doing this. I just want you guys to trust me that this is unfortunately the way to do it because it's not very user friendly. Um, that's one of the biggest problems in my opinion with Java is that C++ is a lot more user friendly um, w when you're just getting started out. Once you get over this, you know, public class and public static void main string args, etc., it's all really easy. Um, just as a side note, this public class, it must be the same as your file name at all times. That's a really big thing that I feel like I should have mentioned earlier. Um, but since I have it templated, I didn't. So to take in user data, we need to type import. And then, um, sorry, yeah, OK, it's import Java dot util dot scanner um, scanner is basically just a thing that scans uh, a user input again this is really not something you need to understand um, for those of you coming from C++ that's like including IO stream um, sort of now, for us to be able to use Scanner, there's another line we have to use, which is, again, it's, it's awful. These four lines, though, you can include on basically every single project that you make. So uh, this is the fourth line. It's going to be Scanner input equals new Scanner open parentheses uh, System dot in. And so, no, not inherited channel. Another case where NetBeans was trying to be helpful and wasn't. So, okay, once you get these four lines typed and, and good to go, I swear that's the end of the confusing stuff in Java. The rest is really straightforward. Um, we'll talk a bit more about what these lines mean as we go on. But for me to teach you right now, it wouldn't make much sense. So believe me, we will be coming back to what these are and what they do, I promise. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here and uh, we're going to create another uh, system dot out dot print one. And we're going to ask the user, sorry, uh, to enter a number. And so when we ask the user something, generally we want them to, uh, to provide us an answer, you know, an, an answer that they type out. So in this case, we're going to have the user uh, sort of enter in a number. But what if we want to use that number later? What if we want to assign it to a variable? And the answer is that we can. We can do this. We can type int a. And in this case, a is just a variable number. Uh, the int before it means integer. For those of you who have done uh, any math, you know that an integer is just uh, a whole number. Or not really a whole number, but just a, a, a number without a decimal point. So I mean, you can have negative one, that's an integer, negative 15, that's an integer, negative 25, and then the positive of each of those as well. So you can have one, 15, and 25. So I mean, it's really any of those numbers. Um, int can hold some bigger numbers as well. Um, I don't know the exact limits for int. Um, I think it's, I don't recall, I think it's around a mil two million something like that I don't remember it's not a big deal you probably will never have an issue with maxent so when we decide that we want to take in a a value for a from the user I mean we've asked them to enter a number so 
when we want to take in that number in our program, what we're going to say is a equals input, which is what we called this up here, dot next int. And the int there is capitalized. So then we're going to just come down a little bit further below it and type system dot out dot println and we're going to type a no no quotation marks around it or anything like that just a so we're going to give this another run it's going to say hello world and tell us to enter in a number we're going to say 15 and then afterwards it prints out 15. So that is very, very, very simple uh, sort of input and output functionality in Java. Now, I don't want you guys to get scared away based on what we've covered here, because again, these first four lines are ridiculously beyond complicated for new users. But I swear from there on, it gets a lot easier. So if you just look at the program and kind of forget those four lines and just keep these ones, then you'll be doing an awful lot better. So for now, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Next video, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, arithmetic, maybe adding numbers, naming variables, things of that nature. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have any questions about what we've covered here, please feel free to ask me. Just one other little caveat. You'll see I used two slashes here, and then I kind of entered stuff in. That's what's called a comment. A comment is not compiled. Uh, it's actually completely ignored when we go to run our program. Uh, we have the same thing up here, except this is a multi-line comment, as it's known. So comments are just little things that let us programmers kind of handle uh, our programs in, in a way where not everyone has to see how we're handling them. It's, it's great for note taking. It's kind of like uh, writing a note on the side of a piece of paper or, or, you know, a textbook you're reading. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you next video.